All right. So now maybe it's been two weeks, three weeks, maybe a month into your fitness journey. Now you change your diet, change your plans, change your goals and things like that. But something just hasn't been working for you. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a direct answer for that. But at the same time, we're going to discuss some things in this video that will give you a better understanding of how things work and how the body functions. Now, disclaimer, I'm no certified by a chemist doctor or a medical professional in particular. However, I am a five year long personal trainer and certified nutritionist that's here to help. Now, we'll be discussing diets, but not diets in particular. We'll be discussing one component of a diet, which is leptin. So stay tuned to see what leptin can do for you. Now, leptin, peptide hormone protein. That is synthesized by white adipose tissue. It's basically a protein produced by adipose cells and is the hormone that acts mainly for the regulation of appetite and adipose storage. So basically, the main hormone for appetite and fat storage. <laughs> now, if you're kind of like me, fitness trainer, fitness enthusiast, and nutritionist, this was kind of like one of the biggest discoveries known to mankind back then. I see it all the times, so big brands, influencers, companies, people, general, telling people how to eat, what to eat, when to eat, and why to eat. And about 70% of the information is false. Now, you might be thinking my favorite influencers, companies, trying to, man, are they lying to me? Nah, simply just a miseducation protocol, honestly. A lot of people are misrepresented or miseducated about this certain concept or this certain hormone. Well, stop guessing anymore. I doubt they're doing it intentionally or just to make you look bad. For that simple reason, some just have good genetics, some just know how to work out, some actually have good educational use, but for that reason, I'm still here to help. So, as a client, your first step is to reach out and try to get the best education possible for your fitness goals. Now, for that disclaimer, you reach out to anybody that kind of relates to you, which is not a bad idea, but at the same time, it still kind of brings misunderstanding with you in the field of view. Now, Lipton was discovered 30 years ago, back in 1994, by Douglas Coleman and Jeffrey Friedman. Now, you may think that's pretty recent, and yes, it is. But with all the technology advancements in health and science, this just scratches the surface. My first impression on introducing this hormone is how we can seek the most benefit from it. As a consumer, how we eat plays a big part in our daily lives and bodily functions. Now, dieting has had many conflicts throughout the years. Most problems of our diet will be where we get our food from, where we eat, and the question is, is it really food at the end of the day? Now, if you're me and live in America, you live mostly off the opportunist diet. Unfortunately, you eat food when you have the opportunity to, to eat it, no matter what it is, basically just when it's convenient for you. And it's a very undisciplined action on taking care of your body to its best benefit. Now, with that being said, we will change our discipline as well as understand the best benefits of the hormone lip. Now, as society has evolved, our health standards has evolved too, as well as our diets. Unfortunately, our economy now is so instantaneous in microwave, that's a bigger issue than what I can address in this video today. But what I will do is help provide you with foods and certain dietary suggestions to help increase that leptin hormone production, as well as help lose the fat you need to lose, and also give you better confidence for better appetite control for the near future. So. Stay tuned. Body types. Have you ever heard of endomorph, ectomorph, and mesomorphs? Well, let me introduce you to three types of body structure that you should know. Listen, I'll explain. First is ectomorphs. Now, ectomorphs seem to be on a slimmer build slimmer muscle structure and a more leaner quality now these are your thin, thin athletes. athletes with the lowest bmi these body structure is very commonly known for high metabolism the body is able to process fat real fast and increase energy exponential next up we have mesomorph now this body type falls in the middle of the three more muscle structure bmi can also be low a medium bone density structure with the shoulders 
naturally wider than the hips. This is a developed athletic physique. Efficient metabolism, muscle gain, and fat loss happens with relative ease. Next up is endomorph. Now this structure is typically a bit stockier than all three. Usually has the least muscle definition. Now BMI can be low as well, but the muscle structure is built different. However, this body type carries more fat throughout the body. It gains fat fast and loses it slow. Naturally slow metabolism, potentially due to chronic conditions, but it's too frequently the result of a sedentary lifestyle and chronically positive daily, daily energy balance. So, question is, where do you fall in the place? You can visit a cardiologist, dietitian, or physician to help have your body type figured out. See me, I fall in between ecto and mesomorph. So my diet is a little different from others. So, back to the main topic of this video. Salads don't work. A bigger question is why they don't work or what ingredients in salads don't work. Now we'll take a deeper look to see what you can do to help fix your salad problem. Truth is, salads don't work alone. That is the big thing about it. See, most ingredients in your typical salad have little to no effect on the lips and hormone in general. Now while salads are healthy for you, they are healthy for a different reason mostly for detoxification. Your simple salad contains more greens with more water content that will help you detoxify your system rather than have any effect on the leptin hormone. Now, the benefit with a healthy detox, it helps correct your digestive tract and also help promote the good enzymes within your digestive tract. But at the same time, you want to be aware that salads need help in order to help produce that leptin hormone. Salads, on the other hand, do provide key vitamins and minerals for healthy function. But at the same time, we're still missing the effect on the leptin hormone. Now, the question is, you're thinking, what can I do to help a salad help my leptin hormone? Gotcha. Since salads consist of mostly vegetables, then that's where we'll start. See, the vegetables that you are needed to help produce your leptin hormone are higher in satiation. Basically, they help you feel full longer. So it'd be more your starchy vegetables, such as potatoes, carrots, corn, so on and so on. So you can add more of those to your salad to help get your salad to work best for you. Starchy fruits also promote the leptin hormone as well. Now, on the other hand, you can eat other things around the salad, such as high fiber foods, oats, brown rice, uh, pastas, and so on and so on to help boost that leptin hormone. See. I consider salads as a primer for my active lifestyle. It all depends on what I eat around the salad that helps give me the best benefit. My typical diet for breakfast would simply be some type of whole grain oats, whether peanut butter and wheat bread, banana, or things like that before I eat a salad. And also, I see the biggest problem with eating salad sometimes. A lot of individuals use salad as recovery meals or meal before they do any type of fitness which is a bad, bad, bad combination due to the fact of the high water content within a salad. See, when you work out with a salad, and that's all you ate for the day, you are getting most of your energy use from hydration rather than fat storage. Now, it might seem logical as to how it can work and help you lose weight, but the simple truth is it's not helping you lose fat. The weight you lose is simply water weight and damaged muscle tissue, which is the main problem and reason for me making this video. I see and hear this all the time in gyms, hours and hours of extreme cardio and fatigue, only to see little or no results with fat loss. Instead, you just end up damaging your muscles or just plateauing. The problem with eating salad this way is that a typical salad does not have enough calorie, calories or carbs or protein said, for your body to function like that. Once again, what you eat around the salad helps boost that left and hormone to help your body understand what fat it needs to use. Stay away from low fat foods that are also processed. Also introduce more unsaturated fats within to your diet. See, when your body consumes unsaturated fats, the healthy fats, it knows to use fat as energy expenditure rather than water, hydration, or any type of other. With good dieting, you become less injury prone, less fatigue, more energy, and also a better benefit for the economy and your lifestyle all around. By now, you have developed a good understanding on how to get the best benefit from salads. 
I will drop links below to include leptin-based diet research as well as food choices for you to choose from. Also, I recommend you introduce more high fibrous foods as well as foods with natural high fatty content to help your body understand to use fat as an energy source rather than any other fuel. Oh yeah, and be sure to check out my new diet collection, uh, Discipline and Everything. I like to promote it with this video to give us a new idea on how to eat, how to sleep, and how to diet right through every part of our life. So be sure to check it out on the website, derealfitness.com. It's fitness with two Z's. Thank you. Thanks for watching.